All right, we're back. I exist again. <laughs> oh boy. Why is that always the thing that seems to go wrong when I play games? Is my my character disappears. It happened to us in Astral uh, Chain. Happened in this. Probably happened in other ones too. Hi, Quarry. What, I expected. what did you expect? Ruined the secret ability? I'm sorry. I like being able to see myself move. I don't want all the hard work of the animations to not be seen by us. All right. Yeah, that's a, that's got to be a trick of the light on the ceiling. You can kind of see the like rock formation things over there. Hey, his guy. Activate explosives? Apparently I'm looking for some explosives. friend oh more guy oh Jesus Christ that my friend scared me Oh god, is there multiple of the telekinetic dudes? These guys are kind of frustrating. They have so much freaking health and armor and stuff. One down. Ow! Ick! Oh no. Oh god. No exploded guy. Get out of my face! Get out of my face! Get out of my face! I need to deal telekinetic man, please. a fight we got there quarry incident during my weekly safety inspection to the quarry threshold I discovered the entire crew in a state of blank the whole team was blank aligned and staring in a uniform direction the city in the distance a city. Despite my most vocal efforts to gain their attention, they remained blank for more than blank minutes until I had to resort to literally something. Afterwards, they were dazed and I could not provide any rationale for their behavior or any specific memories of engaging in it. My official recommendation for any crew working in a threshold area to either shorten the length of their shifts or carry out mandatory psychological evaluations 
on a weekly basis or preferably both. Maybe we should do another expedition to the city. The city, huh? Is there a whole city under this building somewhere? Oh, I need to press a button. I was like, are these gonna explode or what? Need to hit a button. Boom! Hello, excavated black rock there thing. Is. Right where you led me. The HRAs, the prisons. Glad the I didn't need a uh, I need mining pick or something. Oh, jeezy crazy. HRAs, then Dylan. HRAs, then Dylan. This area is so big, I feel like I'm missing shit, you know? Like in this whole back section. And climb up here, right? Well, maybe not. Okay. Maybe the whole, like, upper area is just kind of there for looks I can't get up there oh there's another one of those those freaking pulsy orb things I pulsating orb I'm just gonna pick up this thing if you don't mind I may need to backtrack later if I want to get everything. That makes sense. All bureau personnel are reminded to kindly not smoke in the quarry. Even though the quarry area is technically an outdoor space, it is still part of the bureau and therefore the no smoking rule does apply. Not only is it considerate towards your fellow employees to refrain from inflicting harm of secondhand smoke, it is also prudent to avoid any risk of gas fires unforeseen threshold reactions and possible creation of an altered receptacles uh huh under no circumstance should cigarette butts be left in the quarry okay oh jesus christ i did not think that thing could get up here also was it continuing to chase me while i was reading and I just happened to get out at the right time. This whole crap. Oh. What if I vaped in the quarry? I don't know. I was gonna go through the door right there, man. Ah, oh, damn it. All right. Just go over here for a bit. Find my way back up there in a minute. Where it disappeared. Weird. Oh god, they're everywhere! Pulsating flashy black stuff! Get out of my face! I'm not here, everything's fine! Leave me alone! Ay ay ay. Whew. What if you vaped at the quarry? I don't know. It's a longer elevator ride than I realized. Uh, okay. Come on now. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. with Marshall. Marshall's in a totally different zone, aren't they? 
guess I could have fast traveled. Might have been the smart move. My bad, guys. What are you doing over there? There's so many dudes all of a sudden. Apparently there's one of those orbs healing. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. I need that orb to not be here. There we go. Do, do, do. work at this time shaking the girls for tips <laughs> but you're closed on Mondays for now doing office work while you watch fair I'm glad you could join and I suppose yeah being closed for some days a week is probably better than being uh, open for times when there's just no one coming in, you know? Monday's kind of historically not a particularly uh, exciting day for service industry. I need a fire up. That might be decent. I do like just the raw damage boost, though. I'll keep the raw damage boost. But I can lower headshot damage. How about that? Ooh, reload speed. Come on, we're doing reload speed. All right, where am I? Where am I actually trying to go? Yeah, it wants me to go somewhere far away. Let's go ahead and fast travel this. No reason not to. Working hard for the money. So hard for you, honey. She works hard for the money, so you better treat her right. Can't remember who does that song, but that's a good song. DMCA? I don't think I sang it well enough. Don't worry, Nichiku. One of your key kitchen dudes isn't working with you anymore, so you can't open fr Monday or Friday. Oof. Losing out on some Friday business is a bit rough. Had to take a detour into the quarry, but I found plenty. Here. Yeah, here. Have a black rock we chunk. Will start HRA production immediately. I promised I'd tell you about Dylan once you helped us. You sure did. Now but tell me said, something. She knows. Seventeen years I've waited. Caught these faces. He was once known as Prime Candidate Six, codenamed P6. We brought him here after the ordinary event. Prime Candidate for he was what? To be the future director. Oh. He had talents far beyond oh? any other candidate in the program. Of course he did. We found you together. We share a bond. All right. Are you with? So now that? I'm the director. So. So you kidnapped him. Where's? We took him Dylan. Your parents vanished along with every other adult in ordinary. Eventually, his power changed him. There were casualties. He wasn't. One time you did a test left. shift in the kitchen Did and almost know died. This? Is this why you didn't bring me here sooner? Were you keeping me away? Where is Dylan? He's kept in the containment sector, in the Panopticon. My brother. 
Containment I sector in the Panopticon. What if we are? I'm going. Okay. Now. I expected as much. I yeah. Need to go check on something. I'll see the rest of something you later. I'm gonna go slow. to the Panopticon, I guess. Long, you must watch the Bureau while I'm gone. And remember, Dylan is dangerous. Do not let him out. Direct to Faden. How do I make her stop calling me that? I'm not here for them. But you just said you were happy here, Jesse. Don't worry These about people it. people took my brother, but they've accepted me without question. Are they my enemies or my friends? Well, Jesse, you're the director, so they have to, to accept you, I guess? I need to know. Oh, well, this is where we're headed. I wish you could tell me what you the know. The game loves showing me, things. like, a shot of where I'm going. Just stay with me, okay? I could use a friend. Or neither. I've only known him for, like, three hours. Hey, man. You can met... Oh, wait. That's my name. Written on the wall. All crazy. Is that my brother right there? Okay. Three million points received! Yay! Alright, let's upgrade some shit. Uh, large objects, yes. And... A little more health? Any more energy? The energy is really the thing, because... God dang if launching enemies is not just so powerful. Just launching in general. Give me more energy. Great. Outfits. Alright, I don't have any outfits. Boo. Okay. Uh, but let's see. I was reading. Cannot imagine working a full-time kitchen job, but also caused like three major accidents. She wants us to crack Darwin's personal logs? So crucify Okay, hold on. Nichku, what major accidents did you cause? Something new. Linguistic ability? Researchers were sent to transcribe the recursive chant repeated by the Hiss entities. In the interest of safety, this was done within the... Or, bleh, was done with the non-aggressive floating his entities. However, no distinction between this repeating phrase and the ones repeated by more violent his entities has been observed. What is the purpose of this repeating string of words? Is it how the his corrupts individuals? Does the chant produce physical effect? Is it a message, an incantation? We were able to record a first-hand recitation of the chanting. See the corresponding audio recording. Huh. All right, Emily, what you got for me? Jesse, when you were down in research, did you run into a Dr. Rhea Underhill? No. I didn't. Who is she? She was, is, a colleague of mine. A researcher studying a kind of extra-dimensional mold growing below research. Well, I've, I've seen it in a few places, actually. No one does. I haven't heard from Rhea since the Hiss arrived. Would you mind having a She's look probably too busy hanging out with Aquafina. Of course. Thanks, Jesse. Now, what's on your mind? Uh, oh, are these all new things? That's weird. I visited the Tell me about the Black Rock stuff. What's the plan for all that Black Rock? The Bureau has used Black Rock almost exclusively for containment purposes. Okay. I say... Branch out. Oh my god, her mouth got so big in the middle of saying that. Knives. Fine. Knives? Yes, knives. So many combat applications. Slicing, stabbing, gouging. Sorry. I've been trying to get Darling to explore combat applications for years. I've got a little excited. Wow. I well then. I expect that from her. Yeah, Emily, you seem so nice. I would not have expected you to be a knife person all right hang on i gotta read these these accidents nijiku caused 
It's built an industrial size container of sesame sauce. Oh my god. Had to redo a customer order twice and knocked a bottle of red syrup across the entire counter. Also, you are given a blowtorch to handle on the first day. I've I've seen some industrial sized containers of liquid get spilled. Uh oh God, the fucking popcorn oil. When someone spilled that one day. Oh man. I'm glad it wasn't like a full thing. Because holy shit. No, no, not the butter. The oil. So, so, uh, I'm gonna swap over here for a sec. No, I'm, I'm, okay. Yeah, I will. All right, so, you, you know a popcorn machine, right? It's got the, the, on like the top area usually, it's got the container for all the stuff. The oil that goes into the actual heating mechanism where you put everything to actually pop the kernels that oil, at least for the one we had, uh, was put into the system through a little, like, hose. You'd press a button, it would put as much as it's supposed to get in there. Um, but that oil came in, like, 50-pound drums that you had to, uh kind of lift up a little bit and get underneath the machine in, in our location anyway would have been smarter if you didn't have to freaking get it over this lip because that's how some spills ended up happening for people but we're talking huge fucking 50 pound 50 pound drums like just just of like uh uh like corn oil or something that it would pop the popcorn in anyway we're back Arish, tell this me about is it. Looking good. Arish is making Not the butter. The butter was just like Great. This place is some a some other if smaller oil. Operations here, I can spend more time analyzing the hiss. Uh, like a little um. The hiss resonance in blood samples. Shit was slippery no enough as it is. Totally, so totally. You can't reverse it. Not yet, but perhaps reversing it is too simple. See, if his resonance can rewrite human genetics, then perhaps it's a question of rewriting the his resonance. In theory, that could pave the way for custom human genetic alteration. Oh God, Emily. I wonder how often we the probably don't that want that. Scientist is used around here. I'm all for changing genetics and stuff, but yeah, you did not get called back for another shift. Understandable. But no, the butter, the butter was like, um, better than expected. We've already made enough to get people out of, you know, those like liter bottles of iced tea or something like Arizona iced teas in the store. The butter oil was in like one of those. Of course. And you just kind of poured it into a thing that kept it warm. A, a small machine that kept it warm. I should be going. You did not get paid for your test shift. That is some bullshit. Oh, I will. I've I've always been tame uh paid for my training shifts or test shifts and stuff like that. How did I miss this? The other rooms with stuff in them I missed. Ooh. Listen, I know you can't control the building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing for missing for weeks now. <laughs> Worked my ass off in the Islamabad station for three years. I've earned the right to a nice workplace shitter. Can't bring it back. At least find out where it went. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. Okay, creepy music. I don't need the creepy music. 
Uh, any other cool things we missed? Oh, I missed a bunch of stuff around here, apparently. I guess I just never came up here. Probably spilled enough shit that they would have had to pay the same amount as you made. Oof. The oldest house imposes certain limitations on the Bureau, but by far the most restrictive is the inability to use certain technological instruments. The oldest house does not allow devices that receive or admit any blank signal. Radio waves are the only transmittable signals in the old house. Oldest house. And even those are often unreliable. If the power of collective unconsciousness is taken into account, it could be that certain pieces of technology are too new in the cultural blank for the oldest house to blank them. Similarly, I mean, that's got to be cultural consciousness, right? Anyway, similarly, these items have not been known to become receptacles for the altered status. Technology may be moving at too fast a pace for the blank to occur. Modern technology tends to disappear and break in here, sometimes quite violently. Blank agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets while entering the oldest house. Oof. No thanks to exploding cell phones. You also consider training or test shifts to be an investment gamble? Oh, what the fuck is this room? Oh, no. <laughs> There's post-its everywhere. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so we know they may be out both payroll and costs of goods. Yeah. Would have given you a second chance. Want a job, Nijku. Gets banned for soliciting. Well, I will I will just unfortunately let you know, Guapo, Nijku's up in Canada. So you'd probably have to go through some real work to get uh to get them some legal work in the States. But hashtag soliciting. Uh let's see. To whom it may concern, in case you are not aware, something caused a sticky note in my office to duplicate. My office is now unusable now. I will be working from home until this is resolved. <laughs> yes. Post-it note sure did duplicate. Jesus Christ, this room... What a goof. Been in here. I'm just checking all these rooms I apparently never went into. I'm kind of confused at myself for not doing this stuff before. Kitchen stuff is hard. The pressure is crazy. Yeah, I mean, service industry in general gets crazy, right? It's... I, mean, I think restaurants are a different kind of crazy to uh, restaurants and stuff. Uh, like grocery stores and restaurants. They're all crazy, but a little bit different. Also, absolute energy recovery. That is a huge upgrade. Thank you. Movie theaters, too. Honestly, uh, a Friday night when a big movie came out, that shit got hectic, and the pressure does get crazy. Midnight releases? Oh, God. Some of that shit gets nuts. But every business kind of has ups and downs about that, right? Like, one of the nice things about the movie theater was actually that because of the way movie theaters try to structure things... There ends up being a lot more downtime than you would expect. Um, so it kind of, it's like, your workflow in a movie theater is very, like, up and down. Like, waves, kind of. Because, like, all the movies will start, or be starting soon. So you get, like, an hour to an hour and a half, usually, of, like, pretty solid, continuous work. If it's crazy, it can be hectic as shit 
Uh, but then you get a you get like a breather. You get a moment where it's like clean up a little bit, wipe down some counters and stuff. But then like you get some time between waiting for the next set of movies to start and the movies getting out and everything. Anyway, collective unconsciousness is defined as a form of the unconscious that is shared in all human minds. From this arises unconscious knowledge linking us through our ancestral heritage, the Jung report. Through this collective unconsciousness, we unknowingly attribute a series of images and archetypes to all elements of our lives. These archetypes are never fixed, but shift and change in tandem with our species and culture. This internal belief is the power of images shared by massive population is blank in the creation of altered items and objects of power. The sheer amount of blank excluded is attracted to the best representation of that image, imbuing a single object with massive amounts of blank. Okay. This is kind of almost explaining how items get created, I guess. Theoretically, places of power could likewise be formed by the simple power of sustained collective belief. I kind of love the, like, I don't know, uh, power system of this world that they're creating in this game. In what way things become fucking crazy. Apparently I never went in here, but I've had clearance for a long time. Ugh. Objects of power are unique in their capacity to grant certain individuals paranatural abilities. We call these individuals para-utilitarians. I'm one, I know. Potency of these abilities depends on the para-utilitarian Using the blank object of power as an example, some para-utilitarians can achieve a throw distance of blank, while others are only capable of as little as blank. What exactly determines an individual's paranatural competence is unknown, but it is largely believed that some blank exists within the body and that, like all muscles, it can be exercised. To continue my analysis, I have officially requested access to the Northmore records, considering he is one of the most accomplished para-utilitarians in the Bureau has ever seen. Dr. Darling is still considering this request. Wait, something else says it's on red. What else did I not read? Pope's promotion? Dr. Darling has personally recommended Miss Pope for promotion based on her work ethic and assistance in advancing many ongoing research matters. See blank reports for breakthroughs. According to her colleagues, Pope has displayed a keen eye for detail and a quick grasp of paranatural concepts. She is professional and diligent, though some of her co-workers complain of social disinterest. Review committee approves this recommendation. Huh. Yeah, so she's a little bit awkward. That's fine. She's cool. I like her. For you guys, it's lunch and dinner rushes. Parents getting ready to have their kids back at home for the day. And then holiday events around town. That makes sense. It's bad, but we can handle it. Just like we handled that altered item making everyone sound so Colin, any word on Survivor? Okay. Last thing I haven't checked in a while. Oops. Can I upgrade my guns right now? Where do I do that? Do I do that here? Constructs. I've not looked at this in a while. Uh, I have so much resource. I should upgrade some shit. Upgrade? Wait. Do I do it here? I forgot how to upgrade my shit. Oh, oh, I have to... I get it. I need to unlock one of these other gun forms before I can start upgrading another one. 
Okay, spin as generous magazine, high rate of fire, controlled bursts, or pierce. Precise charge shot that penetrates armor and enemies out of range. Let's get a pierce. Fuck, we'll just do it both. Let's do both. We got all the weapons. Oh, but I can only equip two at a time. Ooh. Kind of like the grip. Whatever, let's try it out. Let's see what happens. Uh, operate a fire. Something, something. Damage enemy armor. Damage after kills. Headshot damage. Zoom. Make it an actual sniper. It's ridiculous. All right, where are we going? Why? If this is a frequency, then why couldn't it vibrate molecules in order to alter human physiology? We're going somewhere. Uh, okay. Somewhere I haven't been yet, I guess. Would explain the hair loss. Think about it. They're not tracking a mission? Oh, actually, do this first. The precision that would require is unthinkable. Okay, well, this one has the yellow thing. I think this is where I want to be. Just don't know where. I guess just go here and see what happens. The number above an enemy's head signifies their level. Oh, okay. That's what the number means. I was wondering about all those guys that had threes over their head at one point. Below Central Research. I want to go this way. Oh, dang it. Bang, bang. New gun type, baby. Oh, you like have to charge it all the way up. Excuse me, excuse me. My god. Alright, Pierce, I didn't like you. Let's try the spin. Uh sure, give me accuracy. This is my longer range weapon. Okay, that's uh, that seems alright. Uh am I going the right way? No. Not where I wanted to go. I want to go this. God dang it. Your door underneath? Of course not. Alright, how the heck do I get around to there? Giving you perfect dark vibes? I could see that a little bit. I haven't thought about Perfect Dark in a while, but I can kind of see it. Okay. Let's try Central Research. 